All right, hello everybody. Welcome to the Sound Test Room US. Uh, so today I wanted to talk about the new MIDI over Bluetooth uh, that's baked right into uh, the Yosemite update to OS X. Uh, this is really cool stuff. So previously this was available with the Apollo MIDI over Bluetooth app, um, but it was such a good idea that Apple took it took it away from secret base design and added it right into the OS, which is a testament to how forward thinking and how awesome secret base design is. But a bit of a bummer his app got got taken away from him here. But in any case, uh, Holderness Media is one of the first developers to actually, uh, you know, set their own apps up for this this service. So we're going to use Caramel today. And in our settings here in Caramel, we can go to Bluetooth MIDI setup, and this is where we will advertise our device as being available. So now, when we go to our audio MIDI setup on the MacBook, uh, show the MIDI Studio window here and double tap on uh, Bluetooth. And now we can see our device down here and connect the two. So once you hit connect there, we can see that it uh, turns off the advertising, uh, meaning that the connection is made. So everything looks good there. Super simple to set that up. And now we can see uh, we're on MIDI channel one, so that's cool. And inside of Ableton, just check your preferences and make sure that your input and output here are showing the device that you just connected here, the Bluetooth connection there. Uh, same thing down here, you know, I turn those all on. And now, let's create a MIDI track. So this is just a, an old um, track I made a few months ago here. So we'll make a new MIDI track. And um, let's pop back over to the uh, session view there. And double tap on, the, on a MIDI track and create one. So the first thing I want to do is I want to turn off loop, and I'm going to make this uh, 48 bars is about how long the, uh, the track is. So I'll grab a hold of it here, hit tab, and move it over there. So now what we can do is we can check our envelopes here, and this is where, I'll also make sure that your output is, uh, is set to the Bluetooth connection that we just made and the correct channel. So let's close this out here and go to tweak. And under learn, this is where we can find out all of our CCs that we that we can map to. So let's uh let's pick crush CC41 there. And we'll go over to perform and I'll just link them too so that's in uh in stereo. Or mono rather. Uh so in any case, let's go to our envelopes here. And where it says pitch bend, this is where we can now change this to CC41. And you know we can expand this to, to go throughout the entire track, and then this way we can create automation for the entire, entire audio track if we like. But let's just do something really simple here. Let's just create a little ramp up, you know, after about five bars or so. And now we can see when we hit play here. I'm going to record this inside of Audio Share so that you can hear what I'm doing. So now we should be able to, to literally watch the, uh, the automation happen. So very cool stuff here. It really could not be any easier uh, to get this going. So super easy there. So yeah, so I mean, now we can essentially use this just as a, a VST you know, for, our, for our, uh, our MacBook here. So if you have any questions about how this was set up or anything, you know, hit us up at thesoundtestroom.com. But, you know, like I said, this really could not be any easier. So, you know, it's a simple Bluetooth connection. Uh, make sure you set that up in your audio MIDI setup. And, um, and yeah, we can create all sorts of, uh, all sorts of automation to, to affect our tracks here. So yep, like I said, could not be any easier. Hit us up if you have any questions, and uh, we'll see you again real soon at thesoundtestroom.com. All right, take care, everybody.